Any other questions? All right, Patrick Kelly's my name. So five months ago, I came to a downtown download and I asked a specific question. I said, do complaints from citizens, trump, are they trumped by complaints from businesses? We've now had five months of what I would consider intellectual dishonesty, selective enforcement, uh, and basically uh, what I would consider class warfare. So basically, if you have money, your complaints get answered. If you don't have money, your complaints don't get answered and you're ticketed into non-existence. So I think what we've got going on, not only intellectual dishonesty, we have something called ideological possession. I've had uh, the Downtown Community Partnership, I've had the police uh, higher ups, I even had a uh, squad, uh, just a regular officer out on the street, all say to me, Patrick, it's different because they're businesses and they've been here a long time. It's not different. Your code says persons, it defines persons. The fact that you guys refuse to enforce, you're selectively enforcing against a guy with a guitar. How many, how many, how many men with guns does it take to stop a man with a guitar? Does it take five? Do you have to pull up on the sidewalk with the lights on? So my, I guess I just like the, my question would be the, the intellectual dishonesty and the ideological possession. Okay, and thank you. Is that right for Fargo? Any other questions?